Okay, this is the new and improved target. It's a handbag. It has a layer of meat in the front. It has a layer of pork ribs. It has a bag of pork liver. Another layer of ribs in the bag. And this will be shut from the front. I'll put some dry paper in the back to collect any bullets that actually make it through. We'll see what happens. And just to make it more realistic, I'll put four layers of denim in front of the target and behind them I'll put a layer of a quilted shirt to make it more realistic. We'll see what happens. Okay, this is what we'll be testing in 40 today. 165 grain Winchester Ranger. We have a MAC tag, 180 grain jacketed hole point. Federal 135 grain Hydroshock. And the Hornady 165 grain FTX critical defense. We're shooting in this target. The old handbag just got torn up, so it's a new one, pretty much the same. Four layers of denim, layer of a quilted shirt. Inside there is a layer of meat, there is a layer of ribs, a bag with pork liver and another layer of ribs to kind of simulate a human body. Let's see what happens. Okay, in 40 we'll have a 165 grain Winchester Ranger, then two rounds of Mac Tech 180 grain, I believe it's a Guardian Gold. Then we have a Federal 135 grain Hydroshock, and finally the Hornady 165 grain Critical Defense. Let's see what happens. Glock 23. Oops, we have to stop for a moment. And the final round. Let's see what happens. Seems like one, two, three, four. Actually got out. There's one there's one right here. Yeah, I have to work on this. Okay, I only got six bullets out of the target. I'm not sure what happened with the other two. I think it's the Mac Tech that got lost. These definitely look like horny. These are small, probably the Federal 135. I'm not sure if these are the Winchester or these are the MacTech. So I'll just shoot two MacTech just to see what happens with them. Okay, another three rounds of MacTech just to see if those are the ones that I found or those are the ones that I couldn't. Well, what do you know? The gold, actually the MacTech gold something something. They mushroom pretty good and they penetrate pretty good. 
and they all actually made it through the target and to the last, the first book. So I have to see what happens with the ranger then, because oh, there we go. I was looking for it. I guess that's why I couldn't find them. They hit the book and they bounced off. There's bound to be another one here somewhere. Pretty good expansion. And I'd say pretty good penetration. There must be another one here somewhere. Well, I guess we have to shoot a couple more of these. Okay, <laughs> interesting results. I just shot a few more 165 grain Winchester. Uh, this is what the Mac tag actually looks like. Pretty good it's deformation, I guess. They open up pretty good and they penetrate it pretty good. Uh, the Winchester actually, surprisingly, not that good. Just one opened that was from the first shooting. Uh, these are the new ones still had, but they appear to be clogged with fabric. And they did not open that well. Uh, the Hydroshock, yeah, nothing there. Hornady appears to have done a very good job. Both of them expanded good, penetrated good. What else do you want? Okay, <laughs> did some more shooting. Hornady, I'm actually in love with this round. It expands consistently, no matter what. These were shot through four layers of heavy denim and a quilted shirt, and they expanded. This one was shot just through a layer of ribs and then into dry books and it expanded very well. In the Federal 135 grain Hydroshock. This one is the only one that expanded and it couldn't penetrate the first layer of ribs. Winchester. Winchester is what I usually carry. And I am kind of disappointed. Only two expanded well. The rest, this one is very flat and deformed. They all are deformed, but they did not expand as I expected them to. Uh, the MacTag, one separated. This one expanded very well, and this one did two. This one, not so much, this one kind of, and this one, not bad. These I shot through just a layer of ribs into the dry books. This is the MacTag. They kind of show... This is the second one that's separated from the jacket. Uh, this one is the Winchester and it did two. Just fell into pieces into the book. And this is the Hornet I showed you earlier. It expanded pretty good. Now this is a MacTech. I just wanted to make sure because this is a I can see it, a full metal jacket. And that's how I was able to distinguish them from the Winchester which has the bottom exposed. This one actually this one actually expanded on its own just by shooting it into dry books. Kind of not expanded but I guess it's a pretty soft alloy. I can't dent it with my finger now but I guess it's soft enough. It's not pure lead, that's for sure. Pure lead is easy to dent, this one isn't. But it's soft enough, I guess. 